Today, we are going to learn how to estimate the sum, difference or product. Let us have a look at the table now. It shows the maximum number of runs scored by Indian cricketers in test matches. Can you find that approximately how many runs does Virat Kohli need to score to become the leading run scorer for India? So learners, there is no hard and fast rule where we should round the number of runs to the nearest 10, 100 or 1000. As the runs are in thousands, so let's begin by rounding to the nearest thousands. Well, can you round the runs scored by Virat Kohli to the nearest thousand? Yes, you are correct. 7202 to the nearest thousand is 7000 as 7202. 2 is nearer to 7000 than 8000. Now let us find that approximately how many runs did the highest run scorer have. We can see from table that Sachin Tendulkar has scored the maximum runs 15921. So now what is 15921 to the nearest thousand? Well keep trying learners. Yes, you're correct. If you got your answer as 16,000, right. To find approximately how many runs does Virat Kohli need to score to become the leading run scorer for India, we need to find the approximate difference between the runs scored by Sachin Tendulkar and Virat Kohli. Now, which is 16,000 minus 7,000, that is 9,000. Thus, Virat Kohli needs to score around 9,000 runs to become the leading run scorer. Now, let us practice one more question. Well, do you like cupcakes? I'm sure you do, right? And yes, don't miss the sprinkles of the top. Let us assume that you need to bake 214 cupcakes and there are 28 sprinkles on the top of each cupcake. Can you find an estimate for the number of sprinkles which are required to decorate all the cupcakes? Now, how to find it? Which operation to use? We find total number of sprinkles by adding 28 214 types. Or we can say that we estimate the total number of sprinkles by multiplying the estimate of the number of cupcakes by the estimate of the number of sprinkles on each cupcake. So, can we estimate the total number of sprinkles by estimating 214 and 28 to the nearest 100? Think about it. No, we don't get a reasonable guess by doing uh, so as 28 to the nearest 100 is 0 and 214 to the nearest 100 is 200. So, the estimate of the total number of sprinkles becomes 0 which is not possible. How about trying estimating to the nearest tens. So let us round off 214 and 28 to the nearest tens. Well, what do you get when you do so? Yes, 214 to the nearest ten is 210 and 28 to the nearest ten is 30. Well, substituting these values, we get the estimate of the total number of sprinkles as 6300. Now here is the general rule for rounding. We round off each factor to its greatest place and then multiply the rounded off factors. Today we have learned how to estimate the outcome of operations that is sum, difference or product. Now estimate using journal rule 78102 minus 681. I hope learners that now you are confident with estimation. Have you ever wondered what is the result of bracket open 5 plus 6 bracket close into 3 question mark? Watch our next video to know the answer to this question. Till then, keep learning and keep enjoying.